In this video, we will be studying about the calculating of mean deviation using continuous in continuous series using median and mean both. So let's first understand using median. How we used to calculate median in the continuous series? We used to find out the cumulative frequency first. 5, 15, 30, 50 and 75. After that, what we used to do, we used to find out the median class 75 divided by 2 is 37.5th item. So, 37.5th item comes in 50. So, is this becomes your median class. So the formula to calculate median was lower limit of the median class plus n divided by 2 minus cumulative frequency of the preceding class frequency of the median class into i that is your class size lower limit is 30 n by 2 is 37.5 cumulative frequency is 30 frequency 30 frequency here is 20 into i the difference is 10 so the answer we've got is 33.75 so you've got your median now what you will do in case of x we used to subtract x uh, from the median right so in this case what we will do we will take m that is the mid value so we calculate the mid value that is 0 plus 10 divided by 2 5 15 20 25, 35 and 45. This we used to do, right? Now what we will do, we will take the deviation from median which is equal to from mid values, we will take now the deviation of median. We will subtract the mid values, that is 5 minus median was 33.75 so we got an answer as 28.75 then 15 minus 33.75 we got an answer 18.75 we, we are ignoring the minus sign again and again i'm telling you because of the mode is given us here then you have 35 minus 33.78375. So we got an answer as 1.25. Then 45 minus 33.75, we've got an answer as 11.25. Now what we will do? We will multiply the frequency with this deviation. So 5, what is the frequency 5 into 28.75 which will be equal to 143.75. Then the frequency is 10. So 10 into 18.75 will get 187.5. Then 15 is the frequency and then the corresponding uh, DM is 8.75 we get 131.25. Then 1 into 20 is 25. Then we got 281.25. So we'll add all these. We get the answer is 768.75. Now we have to find out the mean deviation using median. So we'll find out that that is summation frequency into deviation from median divided by summation of frequency. 768.75 divided by frequency. Your total frequency here is 75. So it comes out to be 10.25. Now we can find out the coefficient of mean deviation to median. You can find out mean deviation from median divided by your median, which is 10.25. Your median was 33.75. So we got an answer as 0.31 approx. 
So this is how you calculate in the continuous series use mean deviation using median. Now let's understand using mean. First of all, we'll find out the mean. So we have to calculate the mid value. 15, 25, 35, 45. Now what we used to do, we used to multiply the frequency with the mid values. 25, 1, 50, 3, 7, 5, 700, then 1, 1, 2, 5. We used to add this, we get 2, 3, 7, 5 as an answer. So x bar is summation of f n divided by summation f. So summation f is 75. So 2, 3, 7, 5 divided by 75, we get an answer as 31.66. Now you have to find out the deviation from mean x minus x bar is mode x minus x bar so you take here m because x is in continuous series you take the mid values here. So 5 minus 31.66 give you 26.66 then mid value is 15 minus 31.66 gives you 16.66 then 6.66 3.34 then 13.34 so you, now what you will do you will multiply it with the frequency deviation from x y you will multiply these with the frequencies right so multiply you will get an answer 133.30 166.60 one six six point six zero ninety nine point nine zero sixty six point eight zero three 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 point five zero add this you get answer as 800.16 now you can easily find out your mean deviation through mean which is equal to summation f deviation from mean divide by summation f so 800.10 divide by 75 you get an answer as 10.67 then you can find out the coefficient of mean deviation to x then just mean deviation from x divide by mean so 10.67 your mean was 31.66 you get an answer as 0.3 so in this way you can find out the mean deviation using mean in the continuous series. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.